Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about the three mistakes that you absolutely have to avoid. It doesn't matter whether you're just getting in the business or if you're struggling to grow the business. Also, if you're not a part of the inner circle, that's our Facebook group, make sure you go ahead and join. So that way we can all stay connected. But with all of that said, let's get into it. Okay, so like out of all of the uh, consultations and emails and different talks that I've had with people, uh, this seems to be a, a common thing where, you know, people get in involved in one of these three things. Okay, so the first thing, guys, do not overspend uh, when you're just getting started, okay? Don't overspend. You have to spend your money strategically. What I mean by that is, you don't need a wrap for your vehicle. You don't need to go purchase a new vehicle. You don't need a van. Uh, you don't need a truck. Uh, most of the equipment that you're gonna need can fit in the back seat or in the trunk of any regular car, any four door sedan, two door car, it'll fit in the trunk. All you really need, um, you're gonna need a good vacuum, definitely. You don't wanna use a, a house vacuum. You're gonna need a commercial vacuum. Um, you, you're gonna need um, a mop bucket. You're gonna need microfiber mops. You're gonna need microfiber towels. And then general uh, cleaning products. Nothing from like the dollar store, nothing like that. You're gonna wanna have actual commercial grade cleaners, but this is really all you need. And you're not, and once you buy your cleaners, it's not like you have to buy them every week. You're gonna get them in a gallon uh, bucket and, and a lot of the times, depending on what cleaner you have, all of that stuff is gonna be diluted. It'll tell you exactly how to do all of it on the bottle. So you're not having to go out and overspend. When you get specific contracts, if they say, hey, you know, we want um, we want our carpets cleaned uh, quarterly or, uh, you know, hey, you're just now coming in on this, uh, you know, on our, on our initial contract. Do you guys offer deep or do you offer um, carpet cleaning with the deep clean? Absolutely. We can do the carpet clean. Guys, you don't have to go buy a carpet cleaner. You can go to, you know, any of the uh, those box stores, whether, you know, Home Depot or Bunts or any places that rent equipment. You can rent a carpet cleaner. No, it's, it's going to. Yes, of course, it's going to take you more time. It's not going to be as fast as uh, a truck mounted system, but you can get the job done uh, with those box store uh, carpet cleaners. If you need to have a strip and wax done, guys, there's a ton of contractor or, you know, you can subcontract that out uh, to other cleaning companies if you don't have the skills, equipment, or expertise to get the job done. Don't feel like just because you have a business that you have to go out and purchase all of this stuff because nine times out of 10 is gonna, is going to collect dust, right? And you're gonna depreciate all of your, all of your money, all your finances and stuff's gonna be gone. If you're looking to spend um, in the beginning, right? Sp make sure you spend it smart. Spend it on things that actually matter. Spend it on getting in front of uh, customers, in front of potential uh, customers, people who can actually sign a contract for you, right? If you're struggling to do that, if you don't know how you're going to get in front of those types of people, guys, we have an appointment setting service. The link will be in the description. We'll get you an appointment with uh, someone who can actually make a decision for you within 30 days, right? But number one, just don't overspend. Number two, uh, don't try to, you know, figure everything out on your own. There's going to be issues. There's going to be problems. There's going to be things that you're going to come across that you're not necessarily going to know the answer to. And yes, I do believe that it is always good uh, to know, to, to have your boots on the ground, uh, to earn your stripes and to be able to go through certain things. But there are, you know, instances, there's cases where you don't need to go through certain things to learn certain lessons. Let me give you a quick example, right? Let's say, for example, um, there is uh, an account that pays uh, $600, right? $600 downtown, they want you to come during the day. Um, they want you to uh, essentially just, you know, clean the account. It's a daytime account and it's downtown. They're gonna cost, you know, it's gonna cost $600, right? Well, you go, you look at it. Okay, I think we can do this for $600. Guys, experience would tell you there are certain things that you have to ask for, um, and $600 may not cover that account. What I mean is, uh, since it's downtown, more than likely, uh, you're gonna have to pay for parking. If you have to pay for parking, um, you need to see if the customer is going to, if, if the parking could be validated, are they gonna reimburse you? If not, you're gonna have to raise the rate, right? It may not, $600 may not work. Um, also, experience will tell you that since it's a daytime account, since it's downtown, um, you know, there's gonna be workers that are gonna be in there working. So what would normally take an hour to complete might end up taking you an hour and a half or two hours, right? Because you're gonna have to keep going back 
and recleaning over and over because you know people go on their lunch breaks they got you know different trash people are making messes this is the reason why most of the the cleaning is done at night but there are those cases where you know people do want day porters and you're going to have to go in uh and if you do choose to take that job uh you know there are things that you definitely have to look out for parking and the amount of time uh is one of them but this is what experience will tell you and, and you know a lot of people coming into this industry wouldn't know that they would go through it and you know uh, you know, get their bumps and their bruises uh, the same way I did in a lot of a lot of these cases just because you just don't know and there's no one there to tell you so I would say the best thing to do uh, you know for things that you don't know um, get a consultation reach out to someone right we offer consultations those links are down below but if you want you know general information on just business there are free resources score.org is a really good resource that you can use for general business information but specifically for cleaning right there are you know a lot of people out there who offer consultations make sure that if you do go out and you see consultations that you use your time wisely I already have a preset amount of questions line up are lined up for you to be able to ask um, so that your, your time isn't being wasted okay lastly number three uh, going into this business without having uh, a, a strategy or an exit plan uh, for you to be able to back away from the business. And that doesn't necessarily have to look like you selling the business, but more so for, of like the business actually working for you instead of you constantly working in the business, right? So what that looks like is this. You, you start out the same way that we all start out, right? We, we're doing most of the work, if not all of the work. While you're doing the work, you're figuring out which uh, methods, which processes would work best. And these things are all gonna change. Your business, your, all of your, 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 um, your SOPs, all of this stuff is living and breathing. It can change, right? It can change whenever you decide to change it. But the point is, is that you're building a system. You wanna build a system in a way that can easily be handed off to the next person because eventually, right, if you're, you, you wanna step away, you're going to have to hire, right? And the, and the best way uh, to hire someone, right, the best way to hire and train someone is to already have a, uh, a set guideline or set blueprints for how you want things to be done. You don't wanna hire someone or bring them in and put them in a position that it's like, okay, well, you said you had experience cleaning go ahead and clean guys that's a quick way for you to lose your, that account or lose your business altogether so you definitely want to have uh, a certain instead of set of uh, standard operating procedures in place um, so that you know a person can be trained and then you just build on that right don't be afraid to hire don't be afraid to, to outsource but all of this stuff is done um, you know incrementally it's done slowly it's not a it's not like you're turning on a light switch it's more like you're uh, turning up the lights on a dimmer right like it, it slowly happens you first you're gonna step away from the cleaning and then later on you might step away from some of the marketing tasks or then you might step away from this that whatever your thing is right Right? whatever it is that you choose that it, you need to step away from make sure that you just that you do it strategically so you can slowly back out and then when problems happen because they will happen there are going to be things that come up you can go in and tweak those little systems uh, to be able to fix the problems so that they don't continue guys the worst thing right the worst thing is to be in, in my personal opinion um, is to be a solopreneur where your family is dependent on you and you're tired you're burnt out you're exhausted from doing this thing it's always better to to go into something with an exit strategy on how can i back my way out of this um, so that I'm working on the business instead of working in the business. I hope that made sense. Guys, if you let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Am I on? Am I off? Like, I'm curious to know what you think. But yeah, that's it for today's video. But like I say, in the game of business, spectators are only gonna watch. Hustlers get into the game so they can win. Guys, I'm always dropping jewels, but the only way to be in position to pick them up is you gotta like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, my name is Marcus Crockett. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.